we uh, we're moving right along in module five today we're, we're going to talk about module five lesson four and today I'm going to tell you about Alexander the Great you may have heard about Alexander the Great just uh, in passing because because he's he has really quite a prolific legacy that he's left um, as a result of the things that he did in his pretty short life so let's get let's talk about Alexander the Great okay so like I said, Module 5, Lesson 4 on Alexander the Great. Now, Alexander the Great is, you know, we, we've been talking about Greece, and he is from a part of Greece, which is in the northern part of Greece, called Macedonia. Macedonia. And you can see Macedonia in this orange highlighted part, okay? Now, um, Macedonia, as you can see, is in northern Greece on the peninsula, so it's, it's on the mainland part of Greece. It's not an island. And... When northern Greece began to organize and expand, the, the leader of, 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 at the time of Alexander the Great was his dad, and his dad's name was Philip II. And as you can see, he's, he's quite a good-looking fella. All right? Um, and Philip II, he wanted to get revenge for the Persian Wars. If you remember, we talked about the Persian Wars with Darius and his son Xerxes invading Greece and you know, with the Battle of Thermopylae um, and, 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 and the Persians invading Greece. He wanted to get revenge for that. So I'm going to go back to the map. And as you can see, we got, you know, here's Greece. And he wanted to invade into Asia, across the Aegean Sea and into Asia, which is where the Persians war, were. Now, he was unable to do this because he died. Now, there's a lot of... Uh, thoughts as to what were the causes of his death. Many people think Alexander's mom killed him, but we're not entirely not entirely sure. But, you know, so he was unable to fulfill his dream of invading Asia. So when he dies, the, the throne of Macedonia falls to his son, Alexander. And this is a mosaic uh, of Alexander. Now, Alexander became known as Alexander the Great, and there's some reasons for that. Uh, first thing, he takes, he takes control at the age of 20. So he's a pretty young man when he becomes the king of Macedonia. And Alexander the Great, who's Philip II's son, he wanted to fulfill Philip II's dream, and he began to invade Asia when he was 20 years old. And if I'll, I'm going to show you a map here. This is as, as far as he was able to expand. This is pretty far. He invaded all the way down into India, all across the, the former Persian Empire, into Asia, even Egypt. Okay, so this, is, this would be like um, where, uh, this is like Turkey, this is where like Israel is, and then Mesopotamia, the Fertile Crescent, all the way into India. So... Um, it took him about 12 years to do this. 12 years. This is, it doesn't seem like a lot, but this is a vast territory of land crossing mountains and deserts. Uh, and really the only reason he stopped is because he hits the Himalaya mountains and his men were just so exhausted. Um, what's great about Alexander is as he spreads, I, his, he spreads ideas, okay? Greek ideas, things like democracy, things like the way that those philosophers, we talked about those philosophers last time, um, and Aristotle and Socrates and Plato, he spreads those ideas with him as he conquers. Um, and so another thing that's unique about Alexander is usually when a, when a people are conquered, the person who does the conquering completely annihilates and wipes out all aspects of their culture and replaces it with their own. So, but Alexander did not do that. He added to people's culture. So he, he, when he conquered Persians, he would say, okay, you can keep your empire, you can keep your, your, your culture, but I'm going to add to it. And what this creates, is it's called Hellenistic. And, and we're going to talk about how Hellenistic culture spreads in the, next, in the next section, because it's all about Hellenistic culture and how things get blended together. So, you know, he spreads his empire all the way to India. His soldiers were exhausted as they were unable to cross the Himalayas. 
And Alexander was disappointed, but he decides to turn back, uh, where he begins to make plans to construct new cities. One such city, which was kind of his crown jewel, was in Egypt. It's called Alexandria. It's named after him, Alexandria, Egypt. And, you know, he planned to build new cities and harbors and roads, but Alexander really craved to, um, to, 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 to conquer and to continue his exploits, and it really drove him, uh, you know, into madness a little bit. Uh, he began to drink heavily, and he drank so much, in fact, he dies at the age of 32 uh, from a combination of alcoholism, fever, uh, old battle wounds. He, he just lived very a very rough life, you know, battling pretty constantly for 12 years, and then not to mention that alcoholism thrown on top of that. So he died as a very young man. But if you look at our map, you know, this is a vast territory of land, and Alexander left no children. Okay, remember they used, like, a, dy a dy he had a dynasty that was established by, his, by, you know, his father. He took over for his father. Well, he left no children. And so the legacy of Alexander is, is he gets, it, it, um, you know, this is kind of a photo of, uh, of people surrounding Alexander on his deathbed. And Alexander, you know, they're all wanting to know who's going to take over in case he dies. Well, he never names a successor. And so what happens is, is that his empire is divided into three parts. Into three parts. You can see here's, like, this is mainland Greece. And then you have, um, as you move further west, this would have been like old Persia. Over here becomes, in, you know, India. And then... Here's Egypt, okay? But his empire that he had with, with, with when he was alive, it gets divided into three different parts, all right? The first part was taken over by a man named Antigonus. 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 And Antigonus, he became the king of Macedonia. So he takes over the northern part of Greece, mainland Greece, and that's what where he is going to rule, Antigonus. All right, another man who takes over part of Alexander the Great's empire, his name is Ptolemy. Ptolemy. I know it looks like uh, Ptolemy or Ptolemy, but it's Ptolemy. Um, and he becomes he goes to Egypt and basically says, "I'm going to be a, a pharaoh." So a Greek person goes to Egypt and proclaims himself Pharaoh, creating his own Pharaoh dynasty in Egypt. And it's called the, today we refer to it as the Ptolemaic dynasty. Ptolemaic dynasty. Uh, that dynasty includes people like Cleopatra, and we'll, we'll talk about her a little bit later on. Um, and then the final person who takes the last part of the empire that was divided into three parts, his name is Seleucus, Seleucus, and he takes the remains of the Persian Empire, okay, with, and it becomes what's known as the Seleucian Empire, all right? So all three of these men, they rule as tyrants. They are not benevolent, meaning they don't, they're not very caring about the people. Uh, they disregarded Alexander's dream of democracy, and they ruled as dictators, absolute rulers over their part of Alexander's empire, right? but all all three men, Antigonus, Ptolemy, and Seleucus. So um, it's unfortunate for Alexander uh, that he had died so young, but he accomplished so much in his 12 short years of, of power. Uh, you know, not very few, very few people are referred to as the great in history, and Alexander is, is one of them. Okay, so... Uh, that, you know, kind of a short lesson today, which I'm sure you guys don't mind, but uh, make sure that you can continue to take your notes, as I'll, as I'll check your notes uh, at the end of each semester, as well as your bell ringers. You do have a journal entry to do today. So, if, but if, as always, if you have any questions, I have office hours twice. The first office hours just ended. Nobody, nobody was there, but I have a, an afternoon one from 12.05 to 12.35. You're more than welcome to join and ask me questions, say hi, whatever you need to do. Um, make sure you're, you're keeping up with your folders. The folders are just the same as we have always done and, and your assignments. So uh, if you need anything, I'm here for you. 
And uh, I hope that you guys all are taking care of yourselves. And I will talk to you later. Have a good day.